Mathematics is an extension of logic. Every domain in mathematics can be reduced to logic. Geometry is the logic of space, the most foundational granular unit of any quantitative system is one bit. This is true by definition. Whatever the fundamentum is, it's the bit of that system, the granular base unit. In geometry, the foundational unit is therefore one bit of space, the geometric atom. We will call these atoms points. All geometric structure can be reduced to sets of points. So shapes, therefore, refer to specific sets of points. We can build geometries out of two fundamental concepts, that of position and state. Position is where a point is located relative to other points, and state is the state that the point is in. These two concepts give us the most granular way of talking about any geometric structure. In other words, we can describe all the information in a geometric structure by referring to that point in that state. Now, I don't claim to be a mathematician, but from what I can tell, this concept is best captured by matrix theory. And the simplest model, allowing for only two possible states for each point, space is essentially an array of bits. In more complex models, the points can be in a range of possible states, not just zero or one. Now, I know some physicist and computationally biased mathematicians will appreciate this perspective, so let me make it more controversial. My claim is that this is the a priori geometry. I believe this is the way minds actually think about space, the way minds must think about space, and the only way for space to be. Since Logic and existence are inseparable. In order for space to exist, it must be logical. And this is the logic of space, its position and state. Every geometric model can be put into this framework. In fact, it's the litmus test for geometry. If it can't be put into this framework in principle, it's logically incoherent. Computers all over the world, rejoice! So physics is simply keeping track of geometry. It's observing how geometric states change over time, and therefore figuring out how this part of the matrix connects to that part of the matrix. We discover patterns of state changes over time and infer the laws of physics from them. The physical world can be reduced down to quantitative logical analysis. And that does not imply the entirety of existence can be reduced in such a way. Metaphysical pluralism allows for things like consciousness, information, abstract stuff, and really anything else to exist outside of the matrix. They are in separate but related domains. Give it a few decades and I expect this framework will conquer everything.